Sure. So when you think Duke, maybe you think basketball, right? Um, but a little bit more about us. We're a highly selective mid-size research institution in the Southeast. After you think basketball, you might think about who our students are. And we certainly have a reputation, right, as a an elite institution and that manifests in a campus body that has a high number of wealthy students but that's not the whole story of who duke students are we have a need by a need blind admissions policy and that's allowed us to do a lot of work over the last several years to diversify our student body right for instance today 20 percent of our undergraduate body are lower income and first generation students so now that we've admitted so many students, the work that I do on campus in particular, supporting those students through their time at Duke, ensuring that they're here and they can make the most of their time and be able to pursue all of their goals and their dreams after they graduate from Duke. And so at Duke, graduation retention isn't actually so much of a problem for us. Our students, our first generation students, they do graduate the same actually slightly higher rates than our continuing generation students. But where we're really concerned about our first gen students are the opportunities that they have while they're here, right? Can they make the most of their time while they're here at Duke? Are they having an equitable experience to their first generation peers? Where we see a big gap, for instance, for us is persistence in STEM fields, right? Where students are declaring majors in STEM, many of them come in as, as thinking pre-health engineering. Um, and then things happen where they're not necessarily persisting in those majors. So that's kind of where our attention is here at Duke.